So an interesting idea that I came up with was what if I told my people how to make an AEW universe mode? Now I know some of you are just gonna probably jump in, get some superstars and make the show, but there's a couple things that you guys can do in order to maximize the potential of it. Before I give out these tips, I am in no way affiliated with AEW. I'm affiliated with Inspo Games. So before you guys start anything, here is what you're gonna need to download using Community Creations. So using Community Creations, you're gonna download things such as a good AEW roster, preferably around like 40-ish wrestlers. Maybe add some like WWE superstars that you think might fit in, like The Revival or like Sunil Singh or something. You can get the entire roster of AEW by going on AllEliteWrestling.com to see their entire roster. You can get all their arenas, such as the Dynamite Arena, Double or Nothing, Revolution, Fight for the Fallen, Full Gear, All In, All Out, etc. You can even download the other pay-per-views that some people created too, even though I can't really find anything right now. Or yeah, like New Blood Run- ah, Okay, that's probably something totally different though. Like here, somebody has AEW Bash at the Beach. You can download their titles, like the World Title, the Women's Title, Tag Team Title, TNT Title, and if you want, add some more. Now we're on to officially step number one. Plan how many matches are on each show and your pay-per-views. I suggest pay-per-views have more matches than the shows, and I say the shows should have at least five matches max, and the pay-per-views should have at least seven. This is an example of all the pay-per-views that I got. I got like All Out, Double or Nothing, Full Gear, and then one of them which is not loading right now, and I got like Revolution. Step number two is officially create your rivalries. So if I can go in to find the damn rivalries, there they are. I created rivalries in the game. You guys totally don't have to do that. But for my preset roster, I created rivalries in the game, such as all these. Some of you have seen, some of you have not. This one is kind of unique. No, that's not unique. This one's kind of unique. I say plan unique feuds, such as something like Sean Spears and Kenny Omega, if you really wanted to, for like the TNT title. Step three, I say start your show. It can even include pres- Fuck. It can even include pleasant surprises. Oh my god, the revival is attacking the Young Bucks. Oh my god. Yeah, get the f*** from it. Ah! <laughs> Extra little tips I have for you is, where is it, where is it, where is it? Turn off the show intro, if I could find Turn off the show intro, it's extremely annoying. Change the watermark to an AEW logo. If you want, add AEW Dark, and then uh, have fun. We are live here in AEW and we have a match for the AEW Championship. I'm gonna talk over you, Greg Hamilton. Ladies and gentlemen, who is coming out to the ring first? The AEW title is on the line. Who do we got? Oh my god, I don't think I really like this arena very much. It's Chris Jericho! Who's gonna challenge Chris Jericho? Obviously, the champion's gonna challenge Chris Jericho. Because the AEW champion is John Moxley. Oh shit, I think Jericho's breaking out. Oh! And oh god, he's breaking out here. Jericho's stomping on John Moxley right now. This match is continuing. Jericho, he's going for the walls. He's going for the walls on John Moxley. He's going for the walls. Is John Moxley gonna tap? No. He's gonna let it go. So far, Chris Jericho beating up John Moxley in dominant fashion. Oh, and a counter! Oh my god, is this really, really about to happen? Look, that's a nice attire on him though. Oh, a nice counter to Moxley. Oh, but there goes Jericho to the outside of the ring. And now Jericho is in pain while, oh, wait a second. Oh, and he hits him in the head. Oh, that's more like it. We might be seeing a new title or a new, t a new championship changing hands here as the referee is counting. God damn it, throw him back into the ring. Uh, John Mahi picks up Moxley again. Oh, uh, hey, God damn it! Will you throw him back into the ring. This match is gonna end by count on if I'm not careful. Oh, God, yeah. Like, like I said, okay, we're at a count of six. <laughs> count of six. Oh, no, Moxley caught him. Oh, all right, Jericho's gonna get back into the ring. Jericho wants to win back that AEW championship. Wait a second, he picks him up. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell? Damn. Oh, <laughs> he just threw the middle fingers up at him. He just threw middle fingers. Wait a second, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, and a clothesline. 
clothesline by Jericho as he picks him up. Oh, no, he countered. He countered. Oh, and here comes Moxley with the comeback. Moxley going for a comeback. Oh, oh, here he is. And there's the Bulldog. Bulldog to Jericho. Oh, you're going to go for the pin on me? Pin on me? Two? No. Jericho is not going to let that happen. Moxley is in deep shock right now as he's going for a button. No, counter by Moxley. Counter by Moxley. Into the corner. Oh, it's a spine buster. Oh, he's got two finishers stored. He has two finishers stored. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. What does he call that move again? I forgot. The paradigm, the paradigm shift. Yep. Paradigm shift. Paradigm shift. One. Two. Oh, I kicked out. Oh, yeah. You see? Look at those those uh, kick out skills. See? I, I, can, I can kick out. Oh, no. He countered. Oh, God. He countered again. Oh, God. He's going for another pin on me. Two. And oh, Jericho getting his shoulders up again. Jericho moving up for a comeback. But Moxley taking advantage. No. Jericho. Wait a second. Here comes Jericho now with a comeback of his own. Jericho. Oh, oh, Chris, Chris Jericho, up in the air. Oh, Jericho, you have one more job to do, and that's to finish John Moxley. Oh, there's the code breaker, code breaker to Mox. That has got to be it. One, two, three, and we have a new AEW champion. Baby.